What decks should I cover more frequently on this channel? Does anybody have any thoughts on that? What decks should I cover more frequently when I'm at events? All right, Odawara into Shadow Spear. The Riddler. Yeah, we, I have yet to see a Riddler player at the top tables at our LGS, but I will be on the lookout for that deck for sure. Toby Blade, thanks for the follow. All right, so a turn one Shadow Spear and Ronald fetching here on turn one with Misty Rainforest. Watery Grave, revealing the game plan. Tron Travolta, one of our best people, says Elves. Yes, Elves has been hot on our YouTube channel, for sure. Or Can Man suggests Elves curses painter Nick Fit. Nick Fit we have not seen in a while. MTG Banding suggested Mono Red Stompy, Red Painter, which are hot lately. Would be interested in seeing them. Also, New Goblins List. Yeah. Um, I'm sure we'll be seeing some goblins showing up in the coming weeks. Madness. Yeah, we haven't seen Madness much. J.H. Stock. Thanks for the reset with Prime. Seven months for J.H. Stock. One of our best people. Thank you, J.H. Stock. Good to see you here. Here's Emery, which is getting dazed. Or not getting dazed. All right, so Ronald misunderstood how much mana was being spent. Francesco pointing that out. Milling, double Mishra's Bobble, Ottawara, triple Mishra's Bobble, and Ottawara. Pox, if I see it. Yeah, we have not seen Pox in a, quite a while at my local. In fact, we haven't seen Apple Jacks. We haven't seen. All right, here's the Thought Seas revealing Emery, Thought Cast, Thought Monitor, and Force of Will. Ouch. Thought monitor thrown into the graveyard. Thank you. Four stall cast and I'm sorry. Emery. Emery and Thank you. All right. Flooded strand pass. Seat of the Synod comes down. Activating Emery, which will allow a Mishra's Bobble to get cast from the graveyard, I'm assuming. Oh, there was a Mox Opal in there. I, I might have missed that. Maybe it was double Mishra's Bobble and a Mox Opal. My mistake. Yeah, Applejack seems spicy right now. For sure. Tapping two. Here's Thought Cast. One. Yeah, Force of Phil is fun to watch for sure. Retrofitter Foundry cast off the Opal. Quite a board being developed here for eight cast. <laughs> Give Cheddar a raise, yeah. High Train Conductor Cheddar is the real deal. Cheddar is, you see that Hype Train Conductor badge? That means real deal. Big time. When people in the live chat see a Hype Train Conductor badge, they're impressed. Yeah, instant sorcery land Brainstorm on the stack here. We are in the fifth round of today's stream, I believe. Two left after this. At least that's the plan as of right now. All right, 
two cards go back on top. Brainstorm. Cracking a polluted delta. Another underground sea. Death Shadow comes down. 6-6 six, six currently. Aquina says Death Shadow needs to be careful going too low on life against 8-cast. 8-cast can easily send a 10-10 Trample Construct your way or, pre or present Kappa Cannoneer to outclass Death Shadow. Agreed. Oh my goodness, was that a servo token there? Just that D6? Oh dear. All right, there's an Urza Saga. <laughs> yeah, sirens are going off in the chat. The YouTube commenters are going to hate that servo token. They're going to hate it. There's going to be outbursts in the comment section of all kinds. Here's Thought Monitor on the stack. Not much rage coming in from the live chat, though. The live chat, a bit quiet here. You see that? The uh, servo token wasn't even noticed by Ronald. That's how bad it was. Chalice on one being cast here. Stubborn denial in response. I have to pay one. I have five. It's just counts. If ferocious, if, if uh, I control a creature with power four or greater, I'm responding to the trigger. Okay, so this I'm is five power. Yeah, yeah. How many cards do you have now? How many cards do you have now? Tron Travolta says, tokens great. Moderators, keep an eye on Tron. Just keep an eye on that person. We don't have any moderators. Quite a board here for Francesco, Chalice of the Void on one. Quite good against these Death Shadow decks. Yeah. All right, so that's that's a scoop for Ronald. Francesco wins game one. Um, All right, looks like one card went on bottom there for Francesco. Here's turn one cycle Street Wraith for Ronald. Cycle another Street Wraith. Watery Grave, pass. <laughs> Urza's Bobble. Urza's Bobble. Shadow Spear, passing the turn, Brainstorm for Ronald. Yeah, the 8-cast uh, decks can rebuild pretty easily after, at least usually, 
pretty easily after uh, meltdowns and seeds of innocence and stuff like that. Um, and Null Rod and Oof don't really stop a Kappa Cannoneer from hitting you over the head. So Energy Flux is, is, is up there as far as most powerful cards against 8 cast for sure. Kappa Cannoneer we have not seen in this match yet, but basically the most recent big addition to the 8 cast decks and, and such a powerful card. There, there was... There was like a month or so where people were just, they wouldn't stop talking about Kappa Cannoneer. It, it's died down a bit now, but the card is really good. Here's Thought Seize revealing Metallic Dispute, Urza Saga, and Thought Cast. Or, wait, what's that card called? Metallic? I don't know. The Improvised Counterspell. Really want this bird, huh? Chalice on one on the stack. And only get dazed. That'll resolve. Metallic Rebuke. Thank you, Hive Train Conductor Cheddar. Wasteland hits Urza Saga, so that's good for Ronald. Island Pass, so no real follow ups here for Francesco. Things are going well so far in this game for Ronald. Next time I'll do the Absolutely. Yep, yep. There is counter. Polluted Delta Pass. Ancient Tomb for Francesco. Popping an Urza's Bobble targeting Ronald. Hercules Recall revealed. That was Hercules Recall, right? It happened so fast, I might have gotten it wrong. All right. Adam says, yup. Looks like a Wasteland was drawn for Ronald. Gets played here. Aquinas not liking the activation of Urza's Bobble on main phase. Yeah, that, that, that makes sense. That might have not been the most ideal. Ooh, is this a Murktide coming down? There's Murktide, and it will be a 7-7 if it resolves. Metallic Rebuke. Force, Pitching Force, and Waste on Ancient Tomb, Dragon Time, yes, the Hype Train Conductor is leading the hype in the chat, I think Twitch chat is rooting for Murktide region to get there this time, Murktide region becoming a hero in this match. Is everybody aware of Murktide Regent's current win rate in the Legacy format? Is everybody just aware of that? Or do I have to drop all the numbers on you? Nobody cares. Watery Grave comes in tapped. Urza's Bobble pops again. Plague Engineer revealed. There's a saga now up to two. Adam, you assumed wrong. Murktide Region has a 48% win rate currently. 48%. So we're safe. We're safe, everybody. Nothing to be alarmed about. You can archive all... You can... Save all your tweets complaining about Murktide Regent for next year. We're down to 48%. Sven Proud is here. Protecting Murktide Regent at all costs is Sven. After what happened with Dreadhorde Arcanist. 
Sven is taking no chances. All right, creating a construct on end step here is Francesco in, oh my goodness, a D6 construct. <sighs> All right, thank goodness for the circle's recall. Thank goodness. Thank you, Ronald. Appreciate that. Ronald hated that token so much he bounced it. All right, so Urza Saga trigger on the stack. We're seeing some constructs get created here by Francesco. Who, and I'm quoting Francesco here, I forgot my tokens today. I forgot my tokens today, said Francesco. Either spell bomb gets found. That's a good one against Murktai, that's for sure. Lemon questioning the 48% win rate. Questioning it. Unsure. Seat of the Synod comes down. Lotus Petal comes down. Not playing around Stifle here, allowing them Ronald to untap. That was a little... I don't know. That's a bit scary. Here's Ponder. It's a bit scary. Attacking with Murktide. Getting bounced by either Spellbomb. Death Shadow comes down, which is a 6 6. Death Shadow number two. Not bad, says Francesco. Yeah, not bad. So, Ronald presenting le lethal for next turn as well. Francesco's 8-cast deck can make blockers pretty easily. Ancient Tomb to play. Don't want to be paying too much life with that at the, at the moment. Down to 6 life. <laughs> six sixes six right now clarified by Ronald. Shadow Spear. Sven says, any chance webcam legacy returns on stream? So uh, on a regular basis, doing webcam streams, I, I, I can't commit to that right now. I'm maxed out on time. I could spend streaming and recording and whatnot. But in our Discord server, we do have a webcam legacy league, as Sven knows. Sven's played in it. And uh, we're about to have the finals of it, actually. If you're in our Discord, you'll be able to watch the finals of the league. Base God 420 versus Cast Haven. Oh, there was a Karnstruct in play. Okay. Well, maybe they forgot about their own creature because it wasn't even a, a token, a proper token. All right. One card going on the bottom for Francesco. Looks like Ronald kept seven, and we're underway here for game three. Odawara gets played and passed the turn. All right, Watery Grave into Thoughtseize, Chalice, Snap Pick there, Mox Opal Petal, Urza Saga, and Thoughtcast. Chalice on one, quite good against this Death Shadow deck as we saw in game one. 
so many cards in the deck cost one. Maybe more than is it Delver. Urza Saga into either Spellbomb, which is also good. Mox Opal, Lotus Petal. Thought Cast can't do it yet. I think Thought Cast is the last card in hand for Francesco currently. <laughs> yeah, maybe there was an opportunity to Thought Cast there tapping Opal and Odawara. The last card in hand is Thought Cast, right? I thought so. Unless there are two cars in hand. All right. Wasteland takes out Urza Saga and pass. All right. Chalice on one. Passing the turn. Chalice on one is a good one. Ronald has a wasteland in hand. Going to need to deal with this chalice at some point. Odawara taken out. Passing the turn. Thought cast. All right, there's the thought cast. Resolves. Yeah, chalice is quite good here for sure. Here's an Urza Saga. Mishra's Bobble, another Urza Saga, and pass. This is going to get ugly fast. Flooded Strand pass. All right, so now Constructs are going to start getting pumped out here by Urza Saga. We're going to see some D6s representing Constructs, unfortunately. But they are quite large, so it might put us out of our misery quickly. All right, missing some Urza Saga triggers here, but putting an Urza's Bobble into play. All right, now Francesco thinking about the triggers. Let's see. All right, looks like we're floating two mana. Twitch chat predicting Ronald's demise here in game three. Shadow Spear gets found off the saga. Yikes. <laughs> What a card. It's better, better than Jason Mike's <laughs> golf. Flying <laughs> like <laughs> wizard. <laughs> I mean, what is one card? And then I would try to go to combat. Oh, yeah. yeah, that was insane. Crazy. Does it? Yeah. 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 All right, snuff out on the token. Versus Bobble gets played after combat. <laughs> Sacking it now. Flooded Strand revealed. Doesn't do a whole lot. Double fetch here for Ronald on end step. Shoot to kill, thanks for the bits. How's the stream been going so far? So far, so far, so good. So far, so good. Uh, the rest of the way, who knows? Could be a disaster. <laughs> so far, we're good. No, nah, it's, been, it's been a good stream. We've had some good matches today. Uh, from you as from no. him. <laughs> 
Legacy, thanks for the follow. Welcome. <laughs> That's a good point, Aquinas. Maybe Francesco is sacking the baubles on his turn, hoping to draw a force of will quickly. He probably knows the only way to lose this game is if Ronald resolves energy flux or Hercules recall. Great points. Great points. If that was the case, though, wouldn't you fire off um, Mishra's Bobble as well? Really? You practice on Oh, you can't have Okay, yeah. Okay, okay. I don't know. Looks like a Murktide region's going to get cast here. Yeah, hopefully not a disaster later on. Exactly. Shoot to kill with a new eye badge. Very nice. The Ith badge. Yeah, Alright, here's Murktide Regent, which has two counters on it. And Rollin will pass the turn with the 5 5 playing defense now. No constructs on the table currently for Francesco. There's a Saga going to get activated here. Nope, actually, it's just going to make a mana. Not enough mana to make a construct currently. What's happening here? Okay, making a blue mana for some reason. And a colorless mana also. Get some Mox Opal. I see. Okay, so another Mox Opal. Seat of the Synod, Thought Monitor. Still one call is floating, I believe. Yeah, I'm, I'm, you know, I have not played 8-cast at all myself, but I feel like we want to be pumping out constructs here if we're Francesco. We're giving Ronald way too much time to stay alive. Especially with Chalice on one available. A Hercules recall or energy flux could be a disaster. Either spell bomb also easily deals with this Murktide. Attacking. Taking five. Him to Tarak. Discarding metallic rebuke and ancient tomb. All right, equipping a shadow spear to thought monitor and attacking with it. Hmm. Clock is ticking for Francesco here, though. Have to hurry up and win. This is taking too long. You are on a 17 turn. At what point in the game do you just start jamming cantrips? If you're Ronald and hoping your opponent misses Chalice. Well, no, because, like, there's so, many, there's so much money in eSports. I see a Hercules recall in hand, actually, for Ronald. It must have just been drawn this turn. High Train Conductor Cheddar with a great question. What's the weapon of choice in modern? I'm assuming you mean for me. I have Eldrazi Tron, and is it Murktide built? I haven't played Merc I haven't played uh, modern much in the last six months, though. Or really in the last two years, I'm sad to say. All right, attacking with Thought Monitor. Ronald holding off on the Circle's Recall for now. Here's Emery. It's a thumbs up for Ronald. Milling, Mishra's Bobble, Crucible, Seat of the Synod, and Mox Opal. Activating Mishra's Bobble. 
N step Hercules recall target you. All right, sacking the spellbound in response to bounce Merktide. All the artifacts go back to Francesco's hand. Bono did not fire off the brainstorm there. Drew a force of will. That's a good one. Wow, can Ronald win this? Brainstorm. Down to three life. Yeah, there may have been a missed bobble draw. I'm not sure. A fetch for Ronald here. Just going to shuffle. What is Ronald looking for? Maybe another Hercules recall, potentially? Or just filling up the graveyard for Murktide? Yeah, we're, we're, we're seeing Ronald fight through this quite well. Francesco's decisions as Twitch chat making up, uh, pointing out maybe not optimal. I can't, I can't really say because I haven't played 8-cast. I can just comment on what I'm seeing as best as I can. Five counters going on the Murktai, which is now an 8-8. There's Mox Opal, Lotus Petal. Yeah, it's a nice Misty Rainforest. I don't know if it's etched, but yeah, it's foil. Um, Shadow Spear comes down. Two cards in hand for Ronald. This chalice on one is likely getting cast here and will be countered. Uh, all right, it'll be retrofitter foundry actually floating a mana. I think Ronald's okay with that. Well, Okay, activating Emery now. Either spell bomb, getting cast from the graveyard with the floating mana. Ooh, actually this is this is this is rough for Ronald right now. Do you counter this? I guess you have to, right? Yeah, I think you have to force pitching days on the either spell bomb, throwing it back into the graveyard. Does Ronald survive though? Is it seems unlikely at one life. Can get one hit in with Murktide, but that might not be enough. Brainstorm, okay. Chalice on one was not prioritized, and we'll see if Francesco pays for that now. Ponder. This is tight. Yeah, Francesco is way ahead for sure. The Emery is really annoying. Can't tell what that card pulled to the front is for Ronald. Who went first? It doesn't matter if it's 
start with parts, literally a thousand dollars. Yeah, he did not play. Okay. Sounds good. Would you like to bounce this year? Second for eight, putting Francesco down to six. And here's Plague Engineer. Okay, Plague Engineer is interesting. I make the name top there. No, I make circles, right? The first one was circle? Circle. The very first one was circle, right? Yep. I'm going to name a circle. Okay. All right, Servo is named with Plague Engineer. He's a lot. Yeah, Thought Monitor could have been cast there, as Aquinas is pointing out. There's another seat of the synod. <laughs> Quite a bit of laughing in the background, which we don't tolerate. Seat of the synod into, there is the thought monitor. Drawing two. Yeah, the people talking in the background are all unhinged lunatics. Sigh. That's good. Activating Emery, either Spellbomb, Trigger, make a Thopter. This is, this is getting way, way out of hand. Ronald draws the Ponder, casts it here. <laughs> yeah, if only Thought Monitor had add haste, exactly. Ponder, shuffle, draw. Francesco is at four. Is there a way? Attacking here, the dot, the D6 next to the Shadow Spear is a token that can block. Thopter token, created by Psy. Thopter token down, and another Merc Tide. Okay, this is interesting. It's been interesting, that's for sure. The other spell bomb on an end step bounces the th Merc Tide. All right, that's game. 